Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to try and fix the old problem your print to PDF missing in Windows 10 or 11. We're going to start, as always, with the easiest possible solutions, and the difficulty level gets a little harder as we go. Let's start with the most obvious Windows key plus S and start typing in turn Windows features on or off. You shouldn't have to get too far and click on, you got it, turn Windows features on or off. We're looking for Microsoft print to PDF right here. If the box is unchecked, check the box, click OK, and then you just wait a minute while it installs it and your problem is fixed. I'm not going to do that right now because I want to show you something else later on. Really easy to do. Hopefully that fixes your problem. Next one, command prompt. Windows terminal is usually the way to go or the command prompt, Windows key plus X. And we're looking for, looks like PowerShell took it over this time. Should be, uh, you should see Windows terminal, but let's do that as admin. Click yes. And we want to do this right here. You can find the link to this page to copy this if you don't want to type it all in down below by the comments in the video description. Control V, press enter. That should enable it if the above didn't work. And as you can see, you can get all done. You'll see path online, true, restart needed, false. Something to that effect. You might need to reboot. All right, now we're going to start getting a little more difficult. And that is manually adding it. So you can do start settings, Bluetooth and devices right here. Let's see, I think we do printers and scanners, add a device. Wait till this pops up, add manually. And we're going to go down to add a local printer or network printer with manual settings right here. Click on next. We're going to use an existing port and we're going to select port prompt local port. This doesn't work for everybody, so I don't think I don't think it'll work for me, but it's something you got to try. So now now that you've got that done. Click next, and if all works out, let's see if it does. We'll click on Microsoft right here on the left. And I'm looking for print to PDF. You can see I don't see it here, so it's not going to fix whatever my problem is. It might fix yours. However, before you leave, click on Windows Update and see if it finds it. I've had no luck with this one, but everybody swears it works. So we'll wait a second here for it. It doesn't take too long. And then we have one more thing for you to try that I've been playing around with and kind of perfected here while I was testing it out. As you can see, if at any point this lets you add it, you're good to go. You will end up naming it print to PDF when you're done. Not a big fan, but again, people say it works. Now, here's the one I've kind of perfected over a bunch of tries. So we're going to start with the device manager. And this is a little funky, so Windows key plus S. Start typing in device manager till you see it and click on it. We're going to expand print queues right here. As you can see, I don't have Microsoft print to PDF. If I did have it, I would right click and I would uninstall it. There's a reason for that. Then I would reboot. I would come back in and this is what I was telling you about early on. We're going to return to the step one which is Windows key plus S, turn features on or off. And it depends on whether your print to PDF is here, where'd it go? Right there. So once again, it depends on whether it's checked or not. If it's checked, but you're not seeing it, this is the trick. You wanna uncheck it, basically uninstalling it. Click on OK and then reboot. So when you come back, and you don't always need to reboot, I just like to cover my bases. When you come back, we're going to do the opposite. Essentially, we're going to reinstall print to PDF. Now we're going to check that box. We're going to click OK. It only takes a minute. 
and it's done. Now, do we need to reboot? I don't know. Again, as a habit, I do, but let's take a look at Device Manager again and see if it showed back up. Printer queues, and there is Microsoft Print to PDF. So now it's been essentially, I like to consider it a way to reinstall it. So a couple of steps involved there to get rid of it from Device Manager, get rid of it from Windows Features, reboot, put it back on in Windows Features. That's a short way to explain that step, which you won't see on too many other tutorial pages anywhere else. So hopefully we got you. If we don't and you figured out something we didn't, let us know. We're always glad to improve our tutorials and videos to help as many people as we can. As always, in the bottom right-hand corner, you can click on subscribe. Click on like if we helped you out. We do appreciate you coming by and visiting Major Geeks as always. And hopefully we'll see you next time.